Hey, it's Vicky, I hope you're doing really well. Today I'm gonna to talk about what I've got my kids for Christmas. My little girls are age three, my youngest has just turned three, and four very nearly five. So although they have very similar interests, there's also sort of big differences between them and what they're sort of into and what they're able to do. So what's nice actually about this age gap is, is that while you can get them different things, actually there will be some overlap with what they like doing, what they can do. My youngest will probably try and play with my oldest toys and vice versa. So what's nice is they've each got separate piles of presents, but actually they will probably get something out of each other's gifts as well, which is, which is really nice. I think having a small age gap, that's kind of one of the benefits. They do share a lot of toys, although they also fight over a lot of toys. So first of all, I'm gonna start with something that I've got for both girls because I wanted to get them both exactly the same when it comes to this because I couldn't just buy one of these. They would just be out and out rowing around the Christmas tree. So it's a VTEC Kitty Zoom Duo camera in blue. I've got exactly the same make and color for both kids, exactly the same. It's not worth Having the falling out on Christmas day, they've got to have exactly the same. Um, I think these look really great. The girls are fascinated by taking pictures with their leap pads. They've both got leap pads, but the quality of the pictures that comes out of those is not particularly good. I thought having actual cameras that they could try doing video and pictures with, I just thought they might really, really enjoy that. These are very, very hardy, I'm told, by friends that already have them. They can do like collages and silly little cartoon effects. There's also games on there that they can do so there's various different things they can do with it but I, I think they'll really enjoy playing with this and actually it'll be quite interesting to see what pictures they capture and to add those to our family albums if they're um if they're not completely out of focus I'm hoping they won't be but I know that both of them will really really enjoy this as a little gadget to play with so for my eldest daughter she has been going on and on and on about having a skateboard for months now so i have got her a skateboard this one came from amazon it's by skatero and i had to research quite a lot there's all sorts of skateboards out there for kids her age but i it was one of those things where you know it's a subject i know nothing about i was struggling to find something that i thought like wow that that you know that looks too big that looks too small this one apparently you know should last her for a few years if she does really enjoy it she loves her scooter so i'm hoping that she will really really like the skateboard it is a purple color because she quite likes the color purple at the moment um i'm hoping she'll like it does anyone else have kids who whenever you ask them like oh what do you want for christmas this oh great what color do you want it they'll always give different answers to those two questions so she'll be like skateboard orange skateboard purple bike purple and and i'm like but what do you want so i've kind of just had to go with my gut really and think okay she's asked for a skateboard a lot i think she does want a skateboard I hope the colour will be okay. I'm sure it will be, but she has chopped and changed her mind quite a lot about the colour of this skateboard. Just saying. Um, she already has a bike helmet, but I've bought her some elbow and knee pads just because I'm sort of foreseeing that there will probably be a few accidents. So just want to keep her safe. So yeah, there's two, I think those are the elbow pads, those are the knee pads. Um, and they look quite easy to put on. They're like Velcro straps. Yeah, Ooh, Velcro straps. And I thought the colour was really cute as well. They're really nice and bright. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing her try it out. I think she's never tried a skateboard before. I don't think she quite maybe realises like how tricky it can be to balance on them, but it will be fun to see her giving it a try. And at least I've got the knee and the elbow pads to protect her as much as possible. Um, another thing that is fairly similar that both girls have got is some PJ masks dressing up outfits. So one of them is going to be, which one's that one? Catboy and that one's Owlette. Catboy and Owlette. So they asked for these quite a while ago and I thought, well, yeah, you can have them, but I'm going to stash them away for a while and wrap them up for you for Christmas. They were just from Amazon. They were, they were like only a few pounds. And I think it is literally just like a jumpsuit and a fairly sort of bog standard mask. But, you know, the kids don't really have a lot of dressing up clothes. And I feel like it's one of those things that I always really loved doing when I was little, like having lots of dressing up things. And so I really wanted to add the dressing up collection with this Christmas. So 
hoping they will really, really enjoy those. So next thing I've got for my daughter, I always like to get the girls books for Christmases and birthdays. They always have a book. And I saw this book absolutely everywhere and just completely fell in love with it. I think it looks absolutely beautiful right from the front cover to inside. Just the illustration, the font is gorgeous. It's called The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. And it's by Charlie Mackey, or is it McKeezy? I think it might be McKeezy. Anyway, just look at it. I'm just gonna show you inside. It is just the most gorgeous book. Really, really unusual. They don't have anything like this. I've just seen it cropping up all over the place. Um, other people have bought them. You know, people who are doing like um, book advent instead of advent calendars. They have a book a day over Christmas. A lot of people have picked this up and it just looks so lovely. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what it's about, apart from the obvious that it's about a boy, a mole, a fox and a horse. I think it's a story about friendship and about them traveling together, but I just think it looks so beautiful. It's kind of like a real throwback book and it looks like it's all been drawn immediately by hand, like rather than copied printed. But um, I'm really, really looking forward to reading that to them. It's just so pretty, right from the front cover. So. That is for my eldest girl. I've also got a book for my youngest girl because they've both got to have books. I've got The Smeds and The Smooths, which is about some aliens. This is a Julia Donaldson book who I think she always writes amazing books, I think. Um, we've got so many of her books. Um, yeah, this one is about aliens. The Smeds who are red never ever play with the Smooths who are blue. So what will they do when a young Smed and Smooth fall in love? A bit like Romeo and Juliet, isn't it? Um, again, it's got the same kind of fun illustrations that you accept, expect from a Julia Donaldson and Axel Scheffler book. It looks really lovely. Um, both girls will enjoy reading that and both girls will enjoy reading the other story as well. It gives me something new to read them at bedtime. So for my eldest daughter, I've also got these aqua beads. Now, um, we've never tried the aqua beads before. Obviously I've seen them around like loads. There's so many different sets. So I picked out a unicorny one. And I'm, to be honest, I'm not really sure how they work. It says you just add water, you put them together, you spray it, and then they hold together. It looks really fun. This is right up my four-year-old street. She's very nearly five. This kind of very sort of precise, concentrated making. She's really good at this kind of thing now. Like she does a lot of things with stickers and her drawings really coming on. She's just very creative. So I think she'll really enjoy this and it will keep her busy. I think my three-year-old will struggle with it and I think this is going to be a point of frustration because she's going to want to be able to join in with this and she's not quite going to get it she might need a bit of help but I'm really really looking forward to seeing them play with that and you know if this set goes well then I'll get her another set for her birthday so it's one of those things it's a bit of an experiment I haven't even seen them played with I've just seen them around a lot and heard about them a lot so we'll see hopefully she'll like it and hopefully she'll get a lot of play out of it one of my favorite toys to give to both girls is jigsaw puzzles i just love giving them a nice jigsaw puzzle to play with i think it's one of those things where not only is it fun and it's sparking creativity but like they're learning like they're using their brains in a way problem solving in a way that is just really valuable so for my eldest she has got this world map jigsaw puzzle so it's recommended for ages five to ten at the moment she is doing really really well with jigsaw puzzles like she'll get a brand new jigsaw puzzle for kids age five plus and she'll do it really really quickly i'm so impressed with how good she is at them so i i really love the idea of this one because you've got the world map here so we can talk about the countries and the little illustrations that are in each of the different countries like what the landmarks are but she can also be putting together the jigsaw puzzle. There's like fish out in the ocean. There's a killer whale there. So I, I think this is really good and it's 150 pieces. So that should be quite a lot to like, you know, keep her occupied on Christmas day, I'm hoping. So a slightly different one for my youngest. This is for ages three to six. It's another Orchard Toys one. So this is an alphabet one. There's lovely illustrations with each letter of the alphabet. I think it's got, it's got 26 pieces. So this is pretty good. This is pitched really, really well where she is right now, I would say, 26 pieces. She is aware of the alphabet and can recite some of it, but um, you know, she's not like my eldest who knows the order of the letters. So this will be really, really good for her to um, practice the letters, learn what order they go into, and then also a few, you know, 
things about basic words that the letters begin with that kind of thing so i think the jigsaw puzzles are going to go down really well so also for my youngest daughter i've got this because i have the aqua beads my eldest i've got her this color match button puzzle set thought this looked really really fun so lots of really cool bright different colors it comes with lots of different um sort of blank slates that you then put the beads on so you get 45 buttons 12 pictures and your child just has to match the colored buttons to the area of the picture so it looks really good i think it looks like really bright imaginative fun and one of those things that i'm hoping like with the aqua, aqua beads that they can sit and do on their own like they they'll they'll feel confident doing it on them on their own they can have a bit of independent play and then they can show me at the end like hey, look what i made um i really really love toys like that i'm i'm more than happy to do crafts with them and do activities like baking and stuff that we have to do together but i think it's quite important to have a few toys that do encourage independent play that they can sort of feel really satisfied that they've done it all by myself i know my kids just love it when they've managed to do something all by themselves so both girls have got leap pads and i've picked them up a couple of new games for those so one of them this is probably going to be bella's is a pj masks mathematics one what's good about the leap pads is the kids don't really know that it's learning they kind of think it's just fun and they've also got a frozen one obviously both girls will just you know swap over the games and play which with other one you they like but they haven't had a new game for their leap pad for absolutely ages i thought a frozen one would be really really good as they've just recently watched frozen 2 at the cinema and they're so into that film they absolutely love it and they both really really love the pj masks show as well the leap pad is just basically if you haven't seen one before it's a um, much cheaper version of the ipad it's very very hardy hard wearing and like, you know, the kids can drop it and it's fine. Um, you can have it on the internet, you can have it off the internet, but it's very limited as to what it can actually do online. So it's very safe. And it's just got some really, really nice options for games on there, which the kids just, they really, really love their leap pad tablets. I think, you know, at some point I will think about getting them Amazon Fire tablets, but I think they're still pretty young at the moment and just a couple of games for their leap pads I think will keep them entertained. And finally this year I really wanted the girls to get each other a present. We've never done this before. We've never sort of encouraged them to buy each other gifts. I think the only time they've done that is when Bella was born. We got a little toy from Jessica to give to Bella and then also we sort of said to Jessica, oh look Bella brought this for you, like from the womb. I don't know, uh, just like a soft toy, just to kind of introduce them and make things easier. But at birthdays and Christmases, we haven't, you know, done gifts from them for each other. But this year, I thought we'd do something like that. So I've got them two little soft jelly cat toys. They both really, really love their cuddly toys, actually. Like, they both have a little collection in their beds. My eldest particularly is just nuts about cuddly toys. She has loads of them, piles them all in her bed every single night. It, like, makes a right mess. I don't know how there is space for her to sleep in her bed, but she loves them. So this zebra, who's so cute, and they're, they're both so soft zebra is just lovely and a reindeer so i hope i hope there won't be fallings out about who has received what fingers crossed but this one's going to be for my little one this one's going to be for my eldest and i just think it's a really really nice way for them to engage in the whole christmas process and get used to the concept of buying gifts for other people and that Christmas is not just about getting gifts but it's also about giving things to your loved ones too. Okay guys I really really hope that you enjoyed this video maybe it gave you a few last minute gift ideas of your own that you could get for your own children. Let me know what you're getting for your kids in the comments below. Um, obviously I feel like with Christmas like there's no rules as to how much you should buy and how much you shouldn't buy. I feel quite comfortable with where I've pitched it this year. I've bought them the cameras, which are like a big present because they're like the, they were the most expensive item out of anything that I bought. And then it's various bits. So something to read, something to make, something to cuddle. Um, obviously there is the skateboard as well. That's, um, that's a bit of a, you know, kind of special gift for my eldest girl. Um, but I feel like they've got a good variety of things, things that will keep them entertained. Slightly concerned the skateboard is gonna cause a bit of falling out. I think my three-year-old is too young for a skateboard personally. She does very well on her scooter but I think she's too little for a skateboard. I think she might be a bit upset that her sister has a skateboard and she doesn't have a skateboard, but 
I just don't think she's ready. And I think this is part of life is, you know, her sister will drive before she can and her sister will go off to university before her. So it's part of being the little sister, which I only, I know all too well. I was the little sister. I am the little sister. So, you know, I think in a way she's got to get used to that. I'm hoping that she'll be happy enough with her other gifts to just be like, hey, you know, I'll try out the skateboard, but you know, I'm happy with the things I've got. Or maybe that's wishful thinking on my part. I'm not sure. Okay guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next upload. Bye.